Jonathan West reporting for duty, sir. Very glad to see you, John. So you escaped headquarters for a little real soldiering. Took a bit of doing, but I got my transfer, sir. Dispatches from New York. I told the general I was pining away from my old commander. The last time I saw your old commander, she was with Lieutenant Hunter. I'll go pay my respects, sir. Do so. Join us later. Thank you, sir. You must be getting cool out here, Miss Thorne. Would you care to dance? I'd love to. John! How marvelous. Miraculous is a word for you, Marion. Oh, you know Lieutenant Hunter. Only by necessity. How are you, Hunter? I was feeling splendidly, thanks. A moment ago. Then run along and see your doctor. Rank does have its privileges, you know. Oh, yes. You'll pardon me, Miss Thorne. If we go someplace, it's a bit less crowded. This way, Captain. How did you ever manage to tear yourself away from the gaiety of New York? Gaiety? It's been absolute desolation without you. Steady, John. That was a greeting, not a surrender. Sorry. I was hoping that absence had made the heart grow fonder. Oh, but it has. At least enough to be very glad to see you. Well, that's something. Tell me, uh, how's my esteemed superior, your father? The Colonel has the 2nd Battalion at Fort Williams. And I'm going to spend the summer with him. That's hardly my idea of a summer resort. Now, if we were in England... John, you think the sun rises and sets in that little island of ours? No, well, doesn't it? John, you're utterly hopeless. <laughs> <laughs> this is a wonderful country. Something's happening over here that hasn't happened anywhere else for centuries. Men are carving out a new empire. Uh -huh. Sounds like chapter one of the new book you're writing. It is. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can argue with beauty alone, but beauty plus literary genius leaves me absolutely helpless. Your attention, please. Attention, please. Sorry to interrupt the festivities. Staff officers report at once to General Johnson's office. Carry on. Robbie? Looks like action at last. You knew it. Yes, I brought the dispatches. Seems you're going to have to fight for America, whether you like it or not. My dear, if you like it so well, it must be worth fighting for. I have just received word that General Montcalm is assembling troops and his Indian allies, the Hurons and Ottawa's, at the border. Oh, come, that's what you were expecting. Well, gentlemen, we shall at least have the honor of pitting ourselves against the great soldier. Now we look at the map. As always, we may expect a thrust southward from Montreal, and their first objective may well be our outpost at Crown Point. Plainly, our first move is to reinforce the Crown Point garrison. Well, have we time to do it from here, sir? Montcalm could reach Crown Point in ten days. Dixon, prepare a dispatch for Colonel Thorne at Fort Williams, ordering him to send troops at once to the support of Crown Point. Very well, sir. Colonel. Sir. Choose a dispatch rider who knows the Irith Trail to Fort Williams. Yes, sir. Now, we'll scout the territory north to Lake Champlain, following the trail just east of Lake George and Fort William Henry. At this point here, the scout should cut west. Sergeant Tom Cutler reporting, sir. Uh, Cutler? You know the Iroquois Trail to Fort Williams? Yes, sir. It goes right by my mother's place, above Waterville. This dispatch is of vital importance. Don't let it fall into enemy hands. No, sir. You will have company part of the way. Gertie, Ogana. You will ride with Cutler as far as the junction of the Iroquois Trail and the River Road. Then, scout to the north along Lake Champlain. Get going, then. Thank you, sir.
Come out, whoever you are. Don't shoot, ma'am. I surrender. No. 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 Oh, oh Mark. I thought it was Tom, but if I should have known it was you, Tommy never could hit that iron twice in a row. Oh, Ma, it's so good to see you. And to find you spry and worry as ever. A lot you care, rampaging over the wilderness year after year. Now, Ma, you know I care. <laughs> No shoot, me friend. Ma, I want you to meet my tribal brother and trapping partner, Sagamore. Oh. Any friend of my son's is a friend of mine. <laughs> Welcome to my house, Sagamore. <laughs> Good medicine, mother of Hawkeye. Hawkeye? Oh, Ma, that, that's the name the Delawares gave me when they took me in the tribe. Oh. Hawkeye Long Gun saved life, fight with Huron. It wasn't anything, Ma. Where's Tommy? In the army. Army? Yes. Scouting and carrying dispatches. Why, it isn't possible. Ma, he's, he's just a kid. Oh, you forget. You've been gone over two years this time. Tommy's 19 and a man grown. <laughs>